uh, this had the old mosaic floor, the black and white little tiles, um, which are, are a heritage item, were a heritage item, uh, because they were original. Uh, obviously we had to take this whole floor out uh, to create the steel mass that we needed for the foundations. Uh, but we were very lucky to be able to find uh, replacement tiles in Australia. So exactly the same floor is going to be put back in the next few months uh, with all these little miniature tiles that need to be hand laid. Um, so that, that's a big amount of work. Um, but they are identical to the ones that we took out. So Heritage New Zealand was aware that we had to do that uh, and signed that off in the resource consent. But yeah, it was the only way we could get this floor uh, doing what we needed to do probably around 400, 500,000 in a floor like this. They're, they're very small. Um, so yeah, it's quite a lot of work and we're bringing uh, a guy from Auckland down and that's what he does for a living. He puts heritage floors down. It's a very specialist kind of uh, job. We are trying to take advantage of all the little small opportunities that we get. So this used to be a cupboard. Uh, it was just closed off. Um, as you can see, that was not how it originally was. Uh, this was just an open space. Uh, so we're bringing it back to be an open space. Uh, up there, you can see the different color schemes that the Opera House has gone through. So uh, from the dark black almost to the pink to the more browny color. Um, so this is going to remain an open space. We're going to be a really big mirror there and a little, maybe a little two chairs or maybe a little couch or something. So people can, in, in the breaks, can use the space as a breakout space. So it's just these opportunities that present themselves uh, to put the building back in the way it actually was designed. And I think we're taking out about 50% of all the renovations that have been done in the past since the building was built. Um, but it's really important, I believe, with heritage buildings that you stay honest to how they were designed. Um, so yes, yeah, taking the building back in time, basically. Uh, the ceiling in the uh, one on the ground floor uh, was not original, that was done in 2007. Uh, however, this one is original. Um, so that means that uh, although we had to cut through the ceiling to get those shear walls up, because these shear walls again go from the foundation all the way to the roof, we couldn't take the ceiling out because of the heritage value it has. Um, so that's why we're just repairing the damage that we had to do to get the shear walls up. We were very lucky that we could find the moulds uh, of the original um, work. What we've done here, again for some reason, in some renovation years ago, they had a lowered bulkhead going through here. So it came up to about, so the space was closed all the way to the other side. Um, so we looked at it and decided to take it all out again and just put it back as, as it was built in 1913. Um, plus we're going to put a decorative element very similar to that onto that ceiling there as well. So it actually becomes one space. It felt like two separate spaces. All these decorative elements had to be remade because we had to take the old ones off for the shear walls to go up. So this is all handmade by uh, the contractors carpenters on site. 